and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are, whatever you are doing. In today's video, I am so, so excited to finally, finally be showing you my wardrobe beauty slash filming room. If you've been with me on my YouTube journey for a while, you'll know that in our old flat, I had a room that I was so lucky to have, but it was <laughs> a cramped room. It was my workspace, my wardrobe, my beauty room, my filming room, the guest bedroom. <laughs> it was a lot of things. And so it was a bit chaotic in there. So I'm unbelievably lucky that in this new house, I have a room that is just dedicated to clothes, makeup and filming. And honestly, guys, I'm so excited to show you it. I love it so so much i just oh, i'm so happy it turned out exactly as i hoped it would now i'm probably going to stay off camera a little bit in this video and just sort of walk you around and show you things because i don't know if you can see but i'm having some trouble with my eyes i started to have some trouble a couple of days ago and i thought it was all fixed so i put makeup on to film this video and quickly found out no still having eye trouble um so i'm just having some like really dry skin around my eyes and they're just a little bit sore and a little bit red so you know I'm just gonna probably stay behind the camera and do like pointing and talking but the main feature of this video is not me it's my room um which I'm ah, so excited like I'll, I'll talk you through it properly I'll talk you through it properly in a minute um but if you want to see sort of the build-up to making this room like I did a whole video on designing my Ikea packs wardrobe on building it so I'll link all those down below if you want to see the journey of how we got to here um the room is 90% finished there's just one or two things I need to do and I'm also waiting on a gorgeous mirror that I've bought I'll pop it on screen so you can see it um I bought it like two months ago but it was on pre-ordering because of supply chain issues it's been a bit delayed but that should be coming in two weeks um so yeah I'm very excited to have that and I'll show you um where that's gonna go but yeah I think um um, without further ado I should just show you my room I'm so excited I know I'm extremely lucky I'm so grateful to have this space that is just mine and full of all the things I love um like literally looking around I love it so much so yeah I'll just get started and show you the room but before I jump into that if you're new here hello thank you so much for joining my name's Trina Louise I do all things plus size fashion beauty lifestyle with a bit of home vlogging thrown in so if you like the sound of that and you want to press subscribe and stick around I'd love to have you and if you enjoy this video give it a like because I'm still loving filming the house content but I need to know if you guys still want to see it so give it a like so that I know right to show you so yeah let's get going so it's finally the time to reveal my beauty room i won't make it easy for you now you got two minutes of my time Slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. So this is Just it. <laughs> I'm so happy to finally be able to show you this space honestly I'm so in love I'm so in love I'm gonna take you through bit by bit show you everything I'll link as much as I can down below but if you want to know the links for anything let me know leave me a comment I'm gonna start off by taking you through my little display shelf section honestly this is one of my favorite parts of the room I love it so much let me show you so this is part of the IKEA PAX system and like I said I have a whole video of me designing it and another one of me building it so if you want to see more details I'll add that down below I am missing a light there and a light there they will come soon so there'll be light all the way across the top which I love especially in this space because the light just shines through the glass I just looks so nice so we'll start up here <laughs> I've got a couple of bits I think I picked up from like B&M so this fake flat like flat <laughs> fake plant and this like little candle thingamabob and a jewelry holder with no jewelry on <laughs> and then at the back I have my Teddy Blake bags and I'm so happy to tell you that this video is sponsored by Teddy Blake. So I am a huge fan of Teddy Blake. I've worked with them twice before now. I absolutely love their handbags. These are two of them. I do have another one. Teddy Blake make the most gorgeous designer leather handbags 
for the fraction of the price. So you get those designer goods at a great price. I just love the quality. I've had this black bag for a little while now and it's a great bag for work. This pink bag is the newest one to my collection. It's the most gorgeous pink bag ever. I love this like snake print effect. This is what she looks like inside. I wore this to my older sister's wedding recently and it was perfect. It comes with a lovely long gold chain but it has this section here for where the chain sits on your shoulder i hate those chain straps where the chain like rips into your clothes so this is absolutely perfect teddy blake bags come gorgeously packaged they really do feel like a luxury experience from the box that they come in to the dust bag it really does feel like you are treating yourself teddy blake have always got such great deals on and in fact they've given me a code so that you can save yourself some money i'll pop my code up on the screen but it'll save you 30 dollars off your next purchase i'll leave all the links down below but honestly I'm a huge, huge Teddy Blake fan. Let me just show you this bag as well. This is a gorgeous black structured bag that is absolutely perfect for work. I feel like such a boss queen <laughs> when I'm wearing that bag. So I highly recommend Teddy Blake and I'll leave all that information down below. Thank you so much again to Teddy Blake for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. So moving down the shelves, we have my little perfume trays, which I love. I'm starting to build up a bit of a collection of perfume I'm still working my way if you have any perfume recommendations I love sweet fruity vanilla -y kind of scent so please do leave your recommendations and I've got this little home at last sign as you know it took <laughs> a year to get here so it's nice to sort of commemorate that and I've got a couple of bags here down here I've got my drawers I'm not going to show you inside most of the drawers because they're not the most organized but just so you can see the amount of space here's my sock drawer I do have a jewelry drawer but it is a mess it is a mess I need to get some inserts um, and I need to organize my jewelry this is just like a tiny bit of costume jewelry most of my um, nicer jewelry isn't in here until I get some um, insert trays this is a bit embarrassing I'm not gonna lie um, but I don't really like like the ones from Ikea so if you know of any that fit um these pull out trays let me know because I need to sort that out like pronto <laughs> then I'm going to turn us the other way I know it's not the most ideal for YouTube but it's the best way to show you what is going on with my wardrobe <laughs> so I have four sections we'll start over here here I have my long dresses, jeans, and some of my jackets. My coats are in the garage. And I have a pull-out section for some trainers. I'll show you the pull-out section in a minute um, where my lights are not in the way. This section is for cohorts, skirts, tops, and knitwear. I think now that it's a fully blown summer, I might put some of this knitwear in the, in the garage or underneath our bed just to give me a little bit more storage. But I do also have two of these pull-out shoe trays. Um, they aren't the most full at the moment. This one's a little bit more full, um, but they just pull out and I can access my shoes really easily. I have six of them <laughs> i have six pull out trays so yeah i'm quite lucky with that over here i have some more pull out trays for boots missing a pet missing a, a boot there <laughs> don't know what's going on but yeah you can see you can get quite a lot of pairs of shoes onto these here i have wardrobe one of shorter dresses and here i have wardrobe number two <laughs> i have a lot of dresses i'll admit and then i do have another tray down there for my shoes that i just don't need as often i dreamt about building this wardrobe for so long i built it and rebuilt it and designed it over and over again and i'm just honestly so happy with how it turned out i love it I love it so much, especially this uh, little middle section, as I was saying. Um, yeah, I'm so happy with it. It's perfect for me. And yeah, I don't think I could have asked for any more. It's just, yeah, I love it. I love it so much. For someone who is a fashion content creator, um, it, it has been a dream of mine to have somewhere to just really store and display all my clothes. So yeah, I love it so much. So now moving on to this section of the room, this is my filming backdrops. So this is where you'll see me do my clothing try on hauls, where you'll see me do some sit down videos and I just absolutely love it. So I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous love seat. It is huge, me and Adam can both fit on it. So it's just perfect for when I just really wanna get comfy and sit down and chat to you. 
and then I have these gorgeous gorgeous prints that were kindly gifted to me by Ticinio. Now I'm sure you've all heard of Ticinio. They're a really popular brand on YouTube. They do the most gorgeous prints and frames. And with the theme of this room being pink and gold, I thought these were perfect. So I've got, <laughs> excuse the reflections, I've got this gorgeous print of the beach. In fact, they're all of the beach. I love the beach and being by water. So I really wanted to incorporate that into my room. And these gold frames just looked absolutely perfect. Desenio have really, really kindly given me a code to share with you guys. This isn't sponsored, they were gifted to me, um, but they still gave me a code, which is really lovely of them. So you can use my code Trina for 45% off prints and 10% off frames. This is valid until the end of the 7th of July, and I'll leave all the links you need down below. But if you're looking for any prints to jazz up your house if you've moved or whether you want to just add a little bit of something new to your room, I would definitely recommend because I just, I think they go together so beautifully. I absolutely love them. I'll pop up the prints for you on screen just because I know that you can't see them the most clearly because my lights are reflecting. Um, so I want to do justice to the just gorgeousness of the prints. So thank you so much again to Desinio for gifting me these. I really, really love them. So yeah, thank you so, so much. Speaking of lights, I have to show you my ceiling light. Honestly, it's one of the first things that I picked for this room. I love it so, so much let me show you so this is my ceiling light it might not be uh, catching the best on camera because lighting messes up with um the camera but it's from made and i love it so much it goes with my like bronzy brassy goldy theme alongside the like blush pink i just love it i think it's so fun and it lights up the room so well i absolutely love it and it goes beautifully <laughs> with these two lights which are also from made i was going to get some wall lights but um being in a new build all the walls are plasterboard um so I didn't really want to put some heavy lights so I swapped these and I tell you I am so glad that I did it worked out so well I love it so much whilst we're here I should show you my beauty station that I am just unbelievably in love with so in love so at the top I've got all my liquid lipsticks brushes, my mirror high, <laughs> more brushes and more lipsticks and then just some extra drawers. Shall I show you what's in the drawers? Do you want to see that? I can do that. <laughs> some of them are more organized than others. This is a junk drawer. We'll ignore that. <laughs> this is an overflowing nail polish drawer with a hair bubble in for some reason. <laughs> some of these drawers are more organized than the others. And then I have four Alex five drawers. You would think, you would think I had all the space that I could ever need, but you know, but they're, looking, they're looking pretty full. Shall I, shall I give you a quick overview of what's inside? I love seeing inside people's makeup drawers. I won't go too in depth because that's not what this video is about, but I'll show you each drawer. I love seeing people's makeup storage. So let me show you quickly. So bear in mind that some of these drawers are more organized than others. This is not organized. This is <laughs> overflow fragrance, overflow skincare and sheet masks. So we'll ignore, we'll ignore that one. This one is a bit more organized. So this is eye creams, moisturizers, toners. Then we have chaos. <laughs> this is serums, um, more serums, masks. Um, this is meant to be like minis that I want to use up, but I don't know, some other stuff is just, are these more serums? Yeah overflowing <laughs> um hair tools not the most interesting and then hair products these are more like hair styling products my um in shower hair products are all in the bathroom so we've got like um dry shampoo serums um blow dry sprays that sort of thing so that's all in there then we move on to some more of the makeup so this is <laughs> this is a laughable drawer this first drawer is a little bit laughable it's a little bit comical um because if you've been here and you've watched any of my makeup content you'll know that i'm not a big primer fan so tell me tell me why i needed a whole drawer just for primers I have a problem. I have a problem. So this is <laughs> my primer drawer. Now, I could get a lot more in here. I'd say this is very well organized. Um, I, it fits. It looks good. <laughs> I'm just trying to justify that for someone who doesn't like primer, I somehow have a drawer of primers. So yeah, primer drawer. <laughs> 
This is a little bit more chaotic. I think this is one of the drawers where my storage is not helping um, because the setting sprays are just not fitting very well. So I might have to rethink this, but I have setting sprays, mini lipsticks and like lip balmy type products. This is my foundation drawer. This is a little bit of a joke. I definitely have too, too many foundations and need to do a bit of a declutter at some point. Uh, but yeah, that's all my foundations. This drawer has setting powders, sponges that need cleaning and concealers. So yeah, like whilst my I have a lot of stuff and my drawers look pretty full, they're kind of like organized. Like this isn't stacked to the brim. It's just organized, neat and tidy the way that I like it. Then the hair accessories drawer, which is a bit chaotic. Um, I've got all my headbands, my clips, some more skincare overflow. <laughs> uh, but this is like hair accessories. Then we move on to what I personally think is the fun side of the drawers. This is where my um, makeup problem, problem, I'm going to call it hobby, <laughs> um, really comes into, into light. It's a bit hard for me to deny in these drawers, but it makes me happy. It's a judgment-free zone. We're all friends here. It makes me happy. <laughs> this is my blusher and bronzer drawer. So these are all my blushes with some cream blushes um excess blushes these are all my bronzers more bronzers and more blushes <laughs> um this was more organized it really was everything fit perfectly um but i got a few new bits and it became chaotic and i refused to get to the point where i need a separate drawer for blusher and bronzer hold me to that we'll see if that stays i do however have a full drawer for highlighters and I'm not even gonna try and pretend that I'm anything but ecstatic about it I love my highlighters and again like it's not an overflowing drawer everything is fitting quite nicely um but yeah this is my highlighter drawer one of my favorite drawers it makes me very very happy this is my face palette drawer so I've got like bronzer blush highlighter all different kinds of I'm um, like some are all like highlighter some are all blush um but yeah these are all my face palettes then I have an eye drawer so I've got an unbelievable amount of mascaras I'm trying to work through and figure out which ones I like which ones I don't and get rid of them don't judge me I also have swatches on my hand that's embarrassing um this is meant to be brow products but it's got a little bit uh, a little bit messed up so brow products eyeliners primers we'll come onto this bottom drawer in a minute <laughs> you'll see why this drawer is my eyeshadow fun time drawer <laughs> so i've got all my glitters my shimmers and glitters all my little um like super shock shadows that sort of thing eyelash glue just all the fun stuff you could ever need lives in this drawer this is a mess this is a lash drawer uh we've got empty boxes i don't know what's going on in here let's just pretend that doesn't exist so then i have four drawers left to show you and um they might all have eyeshadow palettes in i love eyeshadow palettes so yeah i wanted you know what they could probably fit in too they could probably fit in too, but I wanted to be able to really like see what I have and have it organized a little bit so that things didn't get forgotten about. So I do have four drawers of palettes, but it's my favorite kind of makeup. So, you know, <laughs> whatever makes you happy in life. So this first drawer is my favorite. This is my favorite high-end brand. So we have got Sigma. We've got Charlotte Tilbury. We've got all my Natasha Denona um, midi palettes, Kaleidos, Huda Beauty, um, some Pat McGrath, more Huda, Nars, more Natasha Denona, Charlotte Tilbury, and Pat McGrath. So these are my most used, most loved, favorite brands and palettes. Bit of a Natasha Denona fan, bit of a Huda Beauty fan. <laughs> then we have the rest of my high-end palettes. So things move around a bit. I need to get some like um, draw thingy bobs so that things don't slide around. But here you can see there's loads more space. Um, so this is what I mean when I say it's not overflowing, but it's organized. We've got Urban Decay, Nabla, ABH, Laura Lee. Uh, this is from Jouer. 
and then just some more there at the back. Then the bottom two drawers are my drugstore drawers. So here we have Colourpop, this is all Colourpop, BH, Cosmetics, uh, Odin's Eye. We've got some Beauty Bay palettes here at the back um, with some jewellery that doesn't live in here. Um, some more Odin's Eye. And then in this drawer we have Morphe, Revolution, Elf. These little palettes are from Essence. Um, again, everything moves around a little bit, so I need to stop that happening. Um, Iconic, that is not drugstore, but hey, it's in here. Um, some more Morphe palettes, lots of fun little bits from the drugstore. So I've ended up on the floor, uh, <laughs> trying to show you these drawers, um, but that's all my makeup drawers. And yeah, it's excessive, but honestly, it's a huge hobby of mine, like, makeup is an art form like some people like to paint pictures i like to paint my face um so i need tools to do that i'm just trying to justify it i'm just trying to justify it mostly to myself like you're not gonna judge well some of you might judge me most of you are lovely there's a few there's a few bad apples out there <laughs> um i'm just trying to justify it to myself because hey <laughs> Right, let me show you the rest of the room. So this is my gorgeous chair for my vanity. I absolutely love it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Goes with the whole pink vibe of the room. I just have to remind myself it's not on wheels because, you know, my office chair's on wheels and sometimes I try and like slide back and I'm like, hear a little creak. I'm like, no, no, it's not. It doesn't do that. Then I have my windowsill <laughs> with my little, I think I got these from Aldi in a vlog a while back. Um, but I also have this gorgeous, gorgeous reed diffuser. You'll have to excuse the fact that I still live <laughs> on a building site, but I wanted to show you this because I was sent this along with a candle and a room spray by this gorgeous smaller business called Peak House Aromas. They have a range of gorgeous home fragrance products and they're all really affordable. I think the price is like eight to 12 pounds and they'd make a great gift. So this is a reed diffuser that's in wild patchouli and bergamot it's absolutely lovely and one of the best things about these products is they make a gorgeous gift because they come in really nice luxe looking packaging um so i have a gorgeous room spray as well which like you can see the bottle is just stunning packaged so well i think like i said this would be a gorgeous gift and then i have my favorite which is this candle i love candles and it's in the scent white lily and strawberry which is my favorite i absolutely love it the pack packaging is just so sleek and gorgeous it looks wonderful on your shelf absolutely love them i'm gonna pick up some more because like i said it's so affordable the packaging of the products itself just looks so beautiful and it's nice to support small businesses so i'll leave all that information down below the last thing for me to show you is this big empty space <laughs> so this is where my huge mirror is gonna go so that i can take my instagram outfit of the day pictures so this isn't very exciting this is the space for my mirror imagine an arched mirror here <laughs> it is you can tell from the space it's quite a big mirror um so i'm hoping it's going to be worth the wait but i'm very excited so that is a quick overview of my beauty wardrobe filming room i i'm just over the moon every time i walk in here i'm like this is mine i feel honestly so lucky i worked so hard to be able to get it where it is i saved up for so long to like buy my wardrobe and my drawers um but I still, I still, I just feel so lucky every time. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. You'll be seeing a lot more of this room in future videos, especially this shot here. <laughs> this is what you'll see whenever I do my clothing hauls. I want to say a massive thank you again to Teddy Blake for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out their links in my description box down below. And thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will be back very soon with a updated house tour and a clothing haul. So keep your eye out and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.